Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. We're going to wait just two more minutes and then we'll start. Hello, good night. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We are going to start today, Tuesday. So this is the class of today, and here is the question for today as well. 
And uh, of course, we're going to check the attendance. Also remember to finish the platform. I mean, some of you finish already the midterm tests and all the homeworks, but some of you are missing some parts. So uh, take the time to finish that, please. And by now we're going to start with the attendance. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galamez. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Okay. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María. Present. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. And Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Good, perfect. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. Teacher, excuse Hello. me. Teacher. Yes, hello. And, and double voice and here uh, and, and your activity in, in microphone or two. Really? I don't know. Yeah, two voices. Two voices, that's kind of weird. Let me just check here. Uh, I hear well, teacher. You hear very well. Yeah. Los demás me escuchan bien. Sí, sin, yes, sin, sin yes. ningún eco, algún eco. Yes. Okay. Maybe something happens there on your side, uh, Nelson. Okay. Okay, I change in, in microphone. Okay, perfect, good. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today, of course. Here we go. Okay, so. Today, we're gonna to start the unit number three. So it says outline the basic of digital marketing. So the first question is, what is digital marketing? Uh, let's see, Anna Salmi, could you please help me with this? What is digital marketing? Digital marketing is the promotion of product or brands using different forms of electronic media. 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 The other question, teacher. Yes, please. Why does it matter? Consumer have access to information at any time and any place. They are exposed to not just that your company says about your brand, but what the world says about your brand. They want a brand tailored to their needs and present in all the channels of their life. 
Very good, perfect. So, what did you understand on this one? Is definition of the digital market in the first paragraph is related to the the way to promotion the product or, or brands um, using the, the, the digital media. <laughs> The, the same, the same <laughs> definition. <laughs> um, it's important because um, there now this is a this is a way uh, where your product has uh, your product have more exposition for the customers for the market. Um, mm -hmm. and that the other uh, other point the why is important or oh, because it's important the the digital market is uh, because is very important um, what your customer, what is the opinion of the customer about the, the your product? Very good, perfect. Actually, that is exactly where it goes. So digital marketing is the promotion, right? Of products or brands using different forms of electronic media. I know that there are many ways of marketing, but uh, we're going to check about digital marketing that is through our internet. So why is important? Because consumers have access to information at any time, at any place. Data in, on internet, of course. They have exposed, uh, they are exposed to not just what your company says about your brand, but what the world says about your brand. So it's important, not only what you say about your product, but what people says about your product, services, and things like that. So, and uh, people are looking for tailored brands, for tailored products uh, to their needs and presenting all channels in their life. So that's why it's very important, digital marketing. Nowadays, I mean, it's more, right? It's, uh, every day is more and more important, digital marketing, because I mean, there are uh, a lot of influencers, a lot of media working out there. So uh, in the past, it was more like for, let's say the famous people that sometimes they get paid yeah. to promote things, but now, now it's a, a different thing, right? The teacher, um, now it's possible that the old business required the, mar the digital marketing. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it's not possible to say, I'm not going to do something online, right? It's not possible, you have to. You have to do something. Even in the media, I mean, in the free media like Facebook, you need to do that one. Okay, so there are different types of uh, digital marketing, of course. So uh, we can check here some points of those. For example, email marketing, maybe this is one of the uh, most common, the, the oldest version, right? So you receive an email with products and services, and it's one of the first ones because the email was one of the first thing that occurred whenever internet happened. So it was, it was something that, uh, it was very common in the past. Now it's common, but not that much. I mean, you receive emails only if you subscribe to a newsletter or anything like that. Influencer marketing, what is that, anybody? In your own words, what do you believe is influencer marketing? I think it's when you use the, the person for potential your, your like, like people like people we have here in El Salvador, like Adriana Hasbun or, or Nicole Figueroa. I, I think they are doing marketing for some companies maybe for stars about their clothes or um, shoes or something like that. 
I think it's when the companies are using uh, um, people to promote their products. Very good. So there are people that have a lot of followers, right? On Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. And some companies, they realized that they are uh, influencing them. I mean, everything that they do, they replicate or they provide opinions. So there are lots of followers. So now the products or the brands, they come to this kind of people and they pay them so they can say good things about their product and people then buy the product. So it's like a very common way nowadays for that. So that is digital marketing, definitely. What it might be viral marketing. In your own words, your own opinion? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, could be when we can promote uh, some products and social media and the people start to buy, um, <laughs> so crazy, buying over there online. Very good. Yeah, sometimes uh, this is like a trick, like, like uh, something that they have, like a video that they create that is vital a promotional thing and, and uh, I don't know, there are many things that they can do. So they can attract people and they made that viral. It's very common, for example, that they say, if you publish this in three groups, you are going to participate in a raffle, for example. And then the, the thing is getting viral. So for example. Viral marketing could be product like fashion. I'm sorry? Uh, viral marketing could be and products like, like like fashion, like the moment, like a period, maybe? Also, it's possible. Yeah, sometimes there are some events that push some uh, kind of products. So that also happens a lot. So it's uh, one of the previous things that used to happen is whenever the, the people, the famous people, they go to any presentation of movies and things and that. So they present uh, many products on there. So. That happened a lot in the past and now it's more in the media. Uh, content marketing, what might be that one? What do you believe is content marketing? Okay, this is... I don't know. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Okay. Know. Content marketing is when something is presented as a piece of news and you read that one and then you realize that it's about a campaign about a new product or anything like that. For example, in the newspapers, in digital uh, newspapers, you can see some news that this company is coming to El Salvador and is bringing these new products or things like that. So that is something related to content marketing. Okay, social media marketing, what is that? When you use the different is social media, Facebook, Instagram, um, what is it? I don't know, <laughs> but when the promotion uh, use the main way to to let me say the distribution of the message distribution okay. of the message through the social media very good so that is it so mm -hmm. uh, you can pay for an advertisement online right so you can show your product or, or your business and uh, it's going to get into a lot of people. So that is something very, very common. I mean, you see that in YouTube, whenever we are watching a video now, something appears, right? So, well, that is part of that one. The other one is mobile marketing. What is that? The marketing that the companies make through the cell phones. Very good. So that is it, right? 
So marketing that they do through the cell phone. So sometimes you receive messages, right? So you can enjoy Amazon Prime if you go and pay for this, this, and this. So that is mobile marketing. The other one is pay-per-click. Uh, what do you think is that one? The different methods that have the companies for, for oh my God, um, to pay, to pay the bills. Very good. Yeah, those are like little advertisements that are uh, everywhere in some kind of websites, right? So there are advertisements every time. If you want to see something, for example, movies, whenever you see movies for free, there are a lot of advertisements. Or if you want to see some kind of content, uh, you need to click first two or three times and see the advertisement so you can move on and, and see the content. So the yeah, radio and TV ads. So maybe radio. Yeah, radio is very common uh, still is to this day, but I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Anyways, I believe that you know that one, right? Radio and TV advertisements are the most common. Then we have search engine optimization. What is that? Search engine optimization. Maybe it's when you are trying to uh, look for uh, information and you try to provide keywords on the website. Very good. So that is it. Sometimes when you go to Google, for example, and you're looking for tacos, I don't know, there are many companies that appear. So you can make things so you appear in the top. So that is the search on engine optimization. Electronic billboards. What is that? The there's advertise advertisement that the that the or publicity that the companies make through the the big um, the big uh, screen sign. Can I say? Yeah. Electronic, electronic. That is it. With, with much LED lights. Exactly. Those are the ones. So throughout the city. Uh, in the main points of the city, you can see these electronic billboards with a lot of colors and lights and promoting many things. That is it. Good, good. So these are different types of digital marketing. And uh, well, what uh, we need to do for this one, for us to get a very nice campaign. Uh, the first one, uh, could you please read the first one, Osmin? Okay, teacher. What is teacher? Excuse me. This one. Understand. Okay. 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 I see. Right. Understanding. Understanding all the digital channels and devices that are used by consumer. Okay. So that is the first point that we need to consider, right? We need to understand what are all the digital channels and devices that people are using so we can try to get to them, right? So that is one of the most important things. The next one is going to be for Jasmine. Customer interact, that's, that's, that's correct. And no, the second one, different devices. Um, different devices use different protocols, specification, and interface. Very good. So different devices use different protocols, specifications, and interfaces. What is the meaning of that one? So when you create a website, it has to be compatible. Uh, so you can see very nice everything in a computer, in a tablet, in a cell phone. If the computer is a Mac, if it's a Windows, everything has to be very nice. So it has to be with different interfaces, so it's going to be shown properly. The next one uh, is going to be for Susana. Hello, Susan. 
Hello. I'm sorry. No worries. So okay, the first is the third. Understanding all the digital channels and the size that are used by consumer. Actually, what it says, consumers interact. I'm sorry. Consumers interact with the size and different way I for different purpose. Very good. So that is another thing that we need to understand when we are going to launch digital marketing. So the way that people interact with the devices and the purposes that they do. I mean, there are people that they only listen to music. Other people, they just uh, are in Facebook or other people are in Instagram or taking pictures or reading the news, depending on that one. Okay, and nowadays actually it's really easy for the companies because you know that whenever you click or say something, um, the devices are always listening, right? And there is a machine learning uh, that is going to look for the things that you that you say, the things that you click for. So it's, it's very interesting that one. I like when you can decide when you don't look something because many have the option you can see never again this promotion, this product. That is true. So it's not relevant for you, right? And also the the Android or the um, Mac interface, sometimes they uh, learn about that one and they don't show you things like that anymore. They show you something different. Okay, the number four, well, not number, but the fourth one is for Carla. Um... Capturing consumers' attention. That means they ever increasing proliferation of digital content and channels. Okay, so that is it. Now that we know everything about the behavior, the trends of people, different devices, and we understand things, we can try to capture the attention. What do they want? Do they want football? Do they want fashion? Do they want animals? Depending on what you do, you are going to find the options there, right? So if you click a lot with animals, of course, you are going to start seeing a lot of things about animals. Okay, and the last one is going to be for Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Not possible. Okay, Wilfredo. Not possible either. Ada Patricia. Uh, synthesizing. Synthesizing. Synthesizing, analyzing, and utilizing, increasing amount of big data. That is it. So we need to check about big data, analyze and synthesize, and then use that one to decide what we're going to do for that one. So data is possible to be analyzed and taken from the internet. Uh, for example, if you have a website, you will be able to analyze what is the time that they, the people click the most, what are the most popular products, uh, what are the products that are in the, in the shopping cart and they are abandoned there. So we are going to be able to do some things like that. Good, good. Questions so far? Okay, so we're going to move on with the book. So we're gonna start the unit number three here, digital marketing. I will be able to outline the basics of digital marketing. And in the number one, it says, let's start. What are some common examples of digital advertising? Uh -huh. What would be some common examples of digital advertisement? The electronic billboards. Electronic billboards. Yeah, the ones that we checked already, right? Yeah. Uh huh. What else? Uh, 
Now, teacher the all services um, using, are using the digital advertising because, uh, for example, the bank uh, service uh, in Facebook, uh, when in, in, but depend of the country, yes, depend of the, in the market. But now, I, in my opinion, all service is, um, has, all services have a, or using the digital advertising, the common, the, the general service, the, the service of the banking, in my opinion, I I, um, I don't believe that the specific uh, product using the, the the platform, the different platform of the digital for for promotion. Now the all sectors are using teacher. In my opinion, that it's is amazing. true. It's amazing, it's amazing the way that the social media take us for mine because if you're looking for something, suddenly appears many, many places or many foods. For example, I, I like to I like to see an Instagram uh, clothes and I have many, many <laughs> You imagine and yeah. you say, oh my god, how can how can I decide? <laughs> yes, <laughs> what is the, the best? The, exactly the the now the there are a lot of information, the over information, over advertising. Mm. If you look for a hamburger, suddenly appears many kinds of hamburgers. <laughs> that is true. Even vegetarian hamburgers that you see yeah. meat, but it's made from from plants, right? So that is interesting. I mean. So yes, nowadays I believe that everybody has to do some kind of digital advertising. I mean, even if you have a store in downtown, uh, you have to have sometimes to publish things on the social media so everybody knows where you are and what are the products that you're selling. So definitely that is something that that happens, okay. And the next question is very interesting. Has digital marketing changed since the 90s? In El Salvador, in 90s, we don't have, we didn't. <laughs> no, we, yes, we didn't no, we did. have. Yeah, it was very poor. Access, right? <laughs> the access to, of the internet teacher. <laughs> Maybe yeah. then 15 years or so. No, maybe 20 years, yeah. Yes, 20 okay. years. Okay. In the 90s, not teacher. Not that much. I believe that maybe in the 90s was more like email, right? They send promotions via email and you have a lot of spam, but you never see that one. So maybe that was the most basic, at least here in El Salvador. Uh, but yeah, it has been a revolution about digital marketing and they are impacting a lot, a lot uh, people's life in many ways. So definitely, this is something that is going on. Okay, and Elena, uh -huh, Elena uh, and Harvey are talking about options to improve their digital marketing strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. So uh, we are going to check first the pronunciation, okay? We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer's data. And then we're planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, now, do you have any pronunciation questions? Uh, 
con contact? Uh, which one? Content. Uh, co no, contact. A How contact. You, yes, I already contact. Contact. A contacted. Contact. Contacted. Contacted. Uh, like contacted. ID. Contacted. Contacted. Mm -hmm. contacted. Good. Any other question on pronunciation? It's okay. Okay, perfect. That's good. So we're going to practice anyway. Let's see. Uh, Rose and Anna Selmy are going to be the first ones. Okay. Are you, you Harvey? No, okay. I'm Elena. I'm Elena. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our cost consumer data. That and then we are planning to optimize the content of our of our web page according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Good. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve or direct marketing strategies. Direct marketing, direct. Direct marketing strategies. Good. Okay, nice, very good. Now we are going to listen to Osmin and Ada Patricia. Okay. <clears throat> Can you please, Ada? Uh, me Harvey. Please. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy, but uh, by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our websites according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a website help use optimize, optimize the content in the, the web page. Besides need a uh, make, make, make cover. cover. Make cover, okay, thank you. Yes, I already contact some people who, may, who, may, who might. might be able to help. Well, okay, we only need to discuss how to improve or direct smart Strategies. Direct marketing strategy. Marketing strategies, yes. Same. Good. Now, Susana and Carla. Okay. I'm Harvey. Okay. Okay. You are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing, analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that's so good. I think we should hear a web designer hire. to help you. We should hire. Hire a web designer to help you optimize the content in the web page. The site need a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who may, might be able to help. Okay. We only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Direct. direct. Okay. Direct. Okay, good. Now we're gonna to listen to Guadalupe and Wilfredo. Okay. Okay. May I start or you? do you want to start? Ah, okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page in today's preference. Well, that sounds good. I think 
we should hire a web design designer to help us optim optimize the content in the web, web page. The site need needed a uh, makeover. Yes, I already contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Direct marketing strategies. Right. Okay, good. Now we're gonna listen to Wendy and Gloria. Okay. okay. Uh, hi. Hi, Elena. Hello, Wendy. Where are, Wendy, Elena? Or... Uh, I start you. It's okay. Okay. We are trying the, to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumer data. A content of our web page according to their preference. Okay, well, <clears throat> that sounds good. I think we should hire a well, a well designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. Decide here a makeover. Yes, I already con contacted um, some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Very good, perfect, nice. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna listen to Pamela and Adriana. Okay. Hello, Pamela, are Me you here? Uh, okay, you Harvey, uh, but Pamela, are you here? Okay, not possible. Okay, Sandra Romero, could you please help Adriana? Okay, um, I'm going to be Harvey. Okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And there we are planning to opinions that content of our web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think good. Uh, I think. Uh, we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web, web, web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who may be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategy. Direct marketing strategies. Direct. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now, Sandra, Gladys, and uh, uh, Jasmine. We are trying to yep. improve yeah, go ahead. our marketing strategy by analyzing, analyzing. Consum analyzing consumers' uh, data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of all web page according to their preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help designer. us. Um, designer. To help us optimize the context in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, and right contact some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Direct marketing strategies, good. 
Okay, now we're going to listen to Zulma and Jose Ernesto. I'm Harvey. Okay. okay. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our consumers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their pref preference. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Okay, uh, direct marketing. Okay. So now we're going to listen to Ophelia and. Hello. And Walter. Okay. I was adding, I think I do ignore it. For marketing, a start. I be analysis or customer I dab. And then when are planning offices, I then connect us or where pub where power account according a to preferences. Well, that's so good. I deal with Sean and hired with designer to help use and optimize the content in the web page. The site needs a Mikey over. Yes, I ready. I I connected. I summon my people. I host a mini. I be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss who to improve or direct marketing and strategies. Direct marketing, okay, good. Uh, Anna Michelle, it's possible for you. Yes, dear teacher. Perfect, so Michelle and Nelson. Okay, um, Harvey. Okay, just let me check. Nelson, are you here with us? Okay. Please okay, go ahead. I'm... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We are trying to, to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customer data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our web page according to their preference. Preferences. We cannot hear you, Nelson. I don't know if you are talking. Hello. You here? Hello. You here, teacher? Is there anybody there? Uh, here, teacher? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit better now. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I I love it. Well, that sound good. I think we, I think we should hire a web designer to help to help us optimize the content in the web page. Beside me, at my wallet, my, my cover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to the school how to improve all the marketing strategy. Very good, perfect. Let's check some pronunciation and some words, okay? Let's see, analyzing. Let's remember that one. This one uh, is possible to pronounce as data or data. Both is correct, so no problem, data or data. Uh, optimize, remember that one. This is a plural, so it's going to be preferences, okay, with ES at the end. Uh, hire, 
hire, designer, designer, uh, contacted, uh, might, discuss, and that's it. I believe everything is clear on pronunciation. Let's check some vocabulary. Um, let's see. There are not many here. Hire, what is to hire? To employ someone. To Very good. When you are looking for a job and you get hired, right? Very good. Uh, remember this one is help us, help us. us. Uh, let's see. Make cover, what is a make cover? A new design or a remodelation? Very good. It's like a change, a change of, yeah. of the of the view that everybody's looking at, right? Or renewal, teacher. Very good. Renewal. Yeah. A renewal. Nice. And I don't think there are many others. Do you have any other question on this one? It's kind of easy, right? Okay, so we're going to the exercise. It says. How does Harvey plan to improve the marketing strategy? Aha, uh -huh. according to the conversation. In analyzing the consumer data and the, we are planning to optimize it. Perfect, that is it. So by analyzing uh, the consumer's data and then planning to optimize the content of the websites. So that is something that is very related with uh, digital marketing. So first, you need, to, you need to analyze data, right? What is happening? What kind of customers we have? Uh, what do they like? What time do they usually use the devices? Where, what are the most common social media they are using? So many things we can analyze, of course. So we can decide what is the best marketing strategy, okay? Number two says, what does Elena suggest to improve the looks of their webpage? She thinks they should hire a web designer, help optimize the contact in the way best. Very good. So to hire a web designer and help them optimize the content in the web page. Very good. Good, good. And then we have number three. What are some disadvantages of digital marketing? So that is not according to that conversation. Right? What do you think are some disadvantages? of digital marketing what do you think in your opinion uh -huh. i think that that for me this advantage are Mm. sometimes talking about food talking about hamburgers hamburgers sometimes the picture is not by, like the like the real <laughs> and then it's a it's a fake advertising for the consumer yeah for me it's Very one good. of the disadvantage or in the others in the other side you can you can, um, oh my God, you can, you can uh, appreciate very good the product. It's not like in person, personal, yeah. Okay. I think. Good, actually there are two valid points. I mean, uh, yeah, sometimes uh, it's not the same. I mean, you see something, but it's better for you to go and check on the store and uh, definitely. Sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, uh, the advertise uh, that you see there on, 
any any place, I mean, online or whatever, uh, are not exactly the same. I mean, it's, it's very difficult, right? With food, with clouds, with many things. And sometimes uh, even the, the offers or the bargains that they offer are not like very real, right? You can get this if you buy this one, but this you need to do or, or, or check some other requirements so you can check into that one. So yeah, those are very valid, good, good things, nice. Any other disadvantages that you can think of? The, mm -hmm. the advantage teacher is for me is easy to access to the potential market is easy. But the disadvantage is that there are a lot of um, information, a lot of uh, competition, okay. com competitors, yes? Competitors, yeah. Competitors and for the same product because the same strategy for the digital market app. It's easy, it's easy to, to reply the strategy of the marketing in the digital digital marketing. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is true. I mean, yeah, you can have access to a lot of information, but also, uh, yeah, it's uh, not that good. There are many reasons, actually. Uh, for example, one of the things is the privacy, right? You are on your cell phone or you have your cell phone next to you and you say, I would like to have a dog. And then tomorrow you are going to have a lot of advertisements about dogs. So that is another thing that might be a disadvantage. Any other? Uh, I think disadvantage is uh, informal business. Okay. So, so there are businesses that are not that formal and they can send you advertisements. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, that might be happening as well, yeah. Sometimes there are fake even in the advertisements. Sometimes they are like fraudulent, right? They say, okay, if you want to win this, click on this one and fill your information. And of course, it's not for a cell phone, it's for something else. So that is also a little bit of dangerous, right? Is 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 the business fraud fraudulent? Yeah, uh, it, it provides some techniques for hackers to get your information or for you to. What for, do you say? What do you say? Engaño? Uh, uh, you can say scam. A scam. A scam. Mm -hmm. Scam. Speaking about online, it could be a scam, and yeah, that mm -hmm. happens a lot, actually. Okay, any other? Okay, maybe for me, the biggest disadvantage as a consumer is that there are a lot of advertisements in everywhere, right? Anywhere you can see advertisement. Even Netflix says that maybe they are going to have advertisement. I mean, that's not good. Uh, so I know that we live in the digital era and that we need to, I mean, the brands, they want to sell the products and sometimes we want to, to look for new products. Sometimes it's a good idea to see something and maybe in the future to purchase something like that. But anyways, sometimes it's that too much. So that's my opinion. Okay, so before we go into this part, we're going to check the attendance, of course. Let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Present. Okay, good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present sí, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. 
Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Nice. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. <coughs> eh, Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Very good. Nice. Okay, before we move on, we're going to see a little video. This is about getting a, an American English accent. So it's not related with marketing, but it's something that I found kind of interesting. And you give me the opinion on what do you think about this little video. Okay, Nelson, I got you. Nice. So let's see this little one. This little one. Here we go. Hi, I'm Vanessa from speakenglishwithvanessa.com. Let's talk about four ways to sound more American when you speak English. An American movie and thought, oh, it would be great if I could sound like Tom Cruise. Or maybe you've watched one of my videos already and thought, mm, I would love to sound like Vanessa. Well, today I'm going to give you some tips to help you make your pronunciation sound more like an American. And by American, I mean the United States of America. There are a couple things that we need to talk about. First though, what in the world is an American accent? Because a lot of people in the US have different styles of speaking. Here, I'm going to be explaining how to sound like the most general American accent, which is that of news reporters or Hollywood. When you think about Tom Cruise, this is the accent that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a New York accent, a Southern accent, a California accent. I'm talking about standard American English. Of course, if you want to sound more American, you need to use American expressions instead of British or Australian expressions. So if you would like to know some differences between these expressions, make sure you check out the playlist that I'll link here and in the description. And finally, the best way to improve your pronunciation to sound more American, or if you want to sound more British or Australian, is to shadow. And this means you're imitating word for word everything that that person is saying. You're repeating directly after the speaker. I have a couple videos where I explain the shadowing technique, so be sure to click there or in the description to check out those videos but it's also great to be able to break down the sounds of a language. And that's what I'm gonna to do today is talk about four important concepts that you need to include in your speaking if you want to sound more American. Are you ready? The first way that you can sound more American is to change your T sounds to D sounds when they're between two vowels. Let's listen to a sentence that uses a lot of these. In New York City, he wore an exciting sweater because that always made him satisfied. In New York City, he wore an exciting sweater because that always made him satisfied. City, exciting, sweater. Here we have a T between two vowel sounds like I mentioned, and it's changing to a D. It's not a T sound. It is D. This also happens between words. So you heard that always, that always. 
This isn't always done, but it's often done when native speakers are talking quickly. We link together words by making the final T change into a D. That always. Oh, so this can be used in a lot of different situations. A couple years ago, I had a British friend who I always teased because whenever I asked him to speak in an American accent, the only thing he would say is water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, again and again and again. And it was so funny because it really is the perfect example of an American accent. It uses the T changing to a D, water bottle. And it also uses one more concept that we're gonna talk about a little bit later in this video. So now I wanna give you a chance to practice this pronunciation, T changing to a D. We're gonna listen to that clip one more time of that sample sentence, and then there's gonna be a pause. I want you to read that sentence and try to imitate, try to shadow that pronunciation. Are you ready to use your speaking muscles? Let's do it. In New York City, he wore an exciting sweater because that always made him satisfied. Hey guys, real quick, let me give you a tip on Udemy. It's an amazing place where you can Bye. learn just about anything from the comfort of your more American when you speak is to use the colored R. What in the world is that? Well, it's in the middle of the word when there is an R plus a consonant. A consonant is any letter that's not A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> so it might be R-S, R-D, any word that has an R plus a consonant. It's going to sound like Err, err. Let's listen to a sample sentence that uses this a lot. The first word that you learned is the one you heard the most. The first word that you learned is the one you heard the most. Did you notice something in this sentence? There are a lot of different vowel sounds that change to sound like one sound. Err. In the word first, there is an I. In the word word, there is an O. In the word heard and learned, there's E, A. But they all sound like er, er. This is the colored R. And it's really typical in American English. Er, heard. Let's listen to that clip again. And the same as before, I want you to try to imitate and shadow that pronunciation style. Test your pronunciation muscles. Try to sound Monkey. like an angry dog. Word, learn. It sounds a little crazy when you're practicing, but of course, when you're speaking with other people, you can tone it down. But it's good to exaggerate when you're practicing pronunciation because you're getting your muscles prepared. And then when they're already ready to use those sounds, it will feel more natural. Your muscles will know where to go, and then you can kind of tone it down and not sound so crazy when you're speaking with other people. So when you're practicing, don't worry about exaggerating the first word that I learned. <laughs> Take it easy, try it yourself, and let's listen and pause, and it's your turn to speak. The first word that you learned is the one you heard the most. My next tip for sounding American is to include an ER at the end of your words. Er, this is really typical in American English. So before I explain it any further, let's listen to a sentence that includes this a couple times. In the letter he wrote, remember to water the flowers. In the letter he wrote, remember to water the flowers. When my British friend was saying water bottle, this was the second American sound that he was using. The ER at the end of the word. Er, water. Don't forget to water the flowers. Remember to water the flowers. And this is going to really test your R pronunciation. We used it in the previous tip and now we're using it er. Again, you really need to make sure you're R's are strong and powerful. Remember to water the flowers. <laughs> All right, let's listen to that clip one more time and then we're gonna pause and I want you to say it out loud. In the letter he wrote, remember to water the flowers.
My fourth and final tip is a specific contrast with British English. It is the ending A-R-Y. Again, we're talking about R because R is essential in English and it's essential in a lot of different languages. I think oftentimes the R is the most challenging sound in other languages because it's so integral. Well, in this case, A-R-Y at the end of words is gonna indicate that in American English, we're gonna pronounce the full word. Library, secretary, military. Do you hear that ending? Airy, 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 library. Ooh, we're gonna say the full word. Let's listen to a quick sentence that uses a couple of these examples. At the library, the secretary read a book about the military. At the library, the secretary read a book about the military. In American English, you're going to pronounce each of the final letters, A-R-Y, military. In British English, they often cut out the A. So instead of military, it would be military, military. That A is just gone. But in American English, each of those letters are pronounced military, airy. So let's listen to this clip one more time and then I want to pause and let you have a chance to repeat the sentence yourself. At the library, the secretary read a book about the military. So how did you do with these American English pronunciation sentences? Did you challenge your pronunciation? Do you think that you can sound more American after watching this video? I hope that these tips are useful to you and let me know in the comments below, are there any other words that you can use to sound more American using these four tips? Let me know and I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you the next time. Bye. Bye. The next step is to... Ooh, okay, this is not gonna happen. Okay, uh, what did you learn on this one? To make some easy. Yeah. But the, when, but the practice is, is, is not like that because you need you need more vocabulary and, and you can you can use the words for yeah. apply the concept. Yeah, that is true. So I, I'm sorry, go ahead. Consejo? I don't know. The, the tip or the advice. Oh, yeah, the tip, okay. Okay. So yes, need, go ahead. I need a cent a central shop. What do you need? A cent pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, we need to improve the pronunciation sometimes. So, and I mean, accent is different than the pronunciation, right? Ah, the okay. Accent, accent. The accent is uh, the American accent is the most common here in El Salvador because we are closer to the U.S., right? But I mean, pronunciation is also very important and the most of the English words are going to be almost the same. Different letters, ascend different letters. The thing is that in English, the sounds are very important. Sounds, sound the letters. The way that you pronounce the sounds, there are many sounds. English is something that you speak with all your face. So it's not like, uh, I mean, depending on the word that you are using, or the expressions that you are using, or the phrases. Sometimes you have to use all your face. So that that is also very important. Yes. Good. Any other comment? Library. No, that okay. Keep no, on practicing. Uh -huh. It was. It was very nice. <laughs> uh, it's all that we need to to do to practice to speak like kind of real American. <laughs> it's very. Yeah. I like it because English is expressive. You have to open your mouth or. Uh, when you pronounce the V, V, you have to, you have, we have to, we have to be very expressive. No, or like this without moving the mouth because <laughs> no.
not it's not that it's not that the way. There are many actors. I don't remember the name of an actor. He 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 doesn't open much the mouth to speak. And the for the other side, there are many actors that speak very, very, oh my god, very very nice because they open very open the mouth to pronounce and that's the way uh, we learn and i like the tips i like the tips okay perfect <clears throat> yeah there are many resources that we can use to to improve to improve pronunciation vocabulary grammar whatever you need to improve that is one of the good things about online right about internet so nowadays it's very easy it's very easy to learn or to practice i know that there are a lot of these structures also online but if you really want to practice and learn there are many things that we can do good so let's continue with the book uh, it says building vocabulary match the terms related to digital marketing to their corresponding meanings Click and I'll check your answers with a partner. We're not going to do that, for, of course, together. And there are uh, five concepts. Direct marketing, multi-level marketing, consumer data, optimized content, and sales leads. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Osmin, could you please read number one? Hey, teacher. Hey, merchant trade consumer. You will find as a result of the internet use. Okay. So the first one it says the information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use. Maybe the first question here is what is trail? Do you know what is trail? Okay, a trail in this situation, because there are many ways of using this word. In this situation, the trail is, for example, when you are walking in the sand uh, on the beach and you are walking, there are some footsteps that you left behind. That, if you see all the footsteps uh, on, the, on the beach, that is the trail. So it's something that you leave whenever you are. Something like that is. So now, number one, it says the information trail customers leave behind as a result of their internet use. So which one is the answer for this? Consumer data. Consumer data, very good. That is the one because it's all the information. Nowadays you see that you need to accept the cookies, right? When you go to a website, almost always, there is something that pops up and says, do you accept the cookies? And when you say yes, it's because you are given permission that people use that cookies to get the consumer data. So when you click something, anybody in the world can know where you were, what did you click on, what are your, what are you doing online? So there is always a trail that whenever you go to to do something online. Carla, could you please read number two? Making a website more attractive to search engine and user. Okay. Making a website more attractive to search engines and users. What might be that one? Mm -hmm. oh. Multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing. Mm. What is? I think it's optimized content. Optimized content. Yeah, that is it. Optimized content because you are making something more attractive. So you have already a content in your website but you need to have more customers. So you change, you optimize 
everything that is there. Very good. Number three, Guadalupe. Number three, it is a system for selling goods or service through a new network of distribution. Network. Network of distribution. Distribution. Oh, good. Distribution. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a system for selling goods or services through a network of distributors. So what will be that one? Direct marketing. Direct marketing. Everybody mm -hmm. agrees on this one? Yeah, it's part of a system that is direct marketing. Number four, uh, this is going to be for Sandra Gladys. Hello, Sandra Gladys. Hi, teacher. Number four, please. Initiation of consumer interest into products or service of a business. Okay. Initiation of consumer interest. Initiation. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Of consumer interest into products or services of a business. What will be that one? Multi-level marketing? Multi-level marketing. Mm, I don't think that is the answer. Mm. I'm sorry? Sales lead? Sales leads. That's the one. Very good. So whenever, uh, I don't know if you know that one, but mostly in the US, if you are in a website and you need information about something uh, that you want to purchase and you click in the button and says, send your question and you send the information, that transforms into a lead, a sales lead. That is like a request that the company gets. They open the request and they answer you or they call you back so they can provide you information and try to get the, the sale, the product uh, buying by the person that is requesting that one. So that is it, very good. Number five, uh, the business, oh, well, uh, somebody is gonna read, right? I sometimes forget. It's just me, please, number five. The business of selling products or service directly to the public. Good. The business of selling products or services directly to the public. So which one is this one? Maybe direct marketing. Actually, this is direct marketing, very good. And then the number three is going to be multi-level marketing because it's a system, it has different levels. That's the difference. Very good, do you have any questions on pronunciation or the meaning of a word? No questions. No. Okay, let's continue. It says, rank the advantages of direct digital marketing, DDM, from one most significant to four least significant. From your perspective, what advantage helps online businesses attract more customers? So the first one, uh, Nelson, could you please read the first one? Where it says, uh -huh, DDM is targeted. We cannot hear you. We barely hear you. Hello. Hello. I can hear you like far, far away. Hello. Okay, go ahead. I can hear you now. DDM is a target. Company send a specific communication to a group of, of potential customers. Okay. 
So DDM, so that is uh, direct digital marketing, is targeted. Companies send specific communications to a group of potential customers. So that is something that, that's why it's called direct, right? Because they, they have a target of people depending on the age of uh, the gender and many other things. Uh, then you will be able to, to send information to that specific partners, let's say. So the second one is going to be for Ada Patricia. Okay. DDM is immediate science mobile user for most always within arms reach of their mobile de device, your device. text type device, your text or email message will be seen in the mere second. Okay. So the direct digital marketing is immediate. Since mobile users are almost always within arm's reach of their mobile device, your text or email message will be seen in mere seconds. So what it means that if a company sends a message to you in a social media, as a text message in any way, you are going to receive that immediately. So it's very efficient, right? Okay, the next one, uh, the third one is going to be for Adrienne. Okay, teacher. The number three. Yeah. The DDM allows to measure the, the success of your campaign, campaign mm -hmm. including the open rate of your message and a click through throw rate that is the number of people who follow your link beyond their inbox very good so allows do does anybody remember what is to allow allow to permit to permit something very good and what is to measure Anybody? Have an idea, like no, the, the measure. Huh? No. Um. Okay, it's to measure is when like when you get the size of something. Very good. That is a very good one. So when you get the size of something, is the size of I mean you can measure anything actually anything. Okay. Uh, and what might be a campaign? What is a campaign? Anybody knows? Okay, a campaign is when uh, a company has a strategy. They design advertisements and they launch those advertisements with different uh, channels. So that is like a campaign. Uh, let's see what else. Through rate, click through rate. Uh, this is a number. I don't think there is any other. When you say click through rate, it's because uh, you will be able to, they will be able to measure if you click on something, so they measure that one, uh, how many people click in something, and that means that they are interested in the product to get to know a little bit more information about the product. So that is it. So at the end, that is the, the advantage here, that in the direct marketing, um, you will be able to, to measure, to, to analyze how many people actually are clicking in your in your advertisements. Okay, the last one is going to be for Walter. Okay, teacher. And is green and compiling to yesterday the cost of offering a magazine or radio 
ads attends to the ever spreading in internet. It is cheaper and in some case free to get your brands uh, messy or there. Okay, so definitely, right? Uh, it's more, uh, it definitely is cheaper. It's cheaper than uh, an advertisement on the radio, on the TV, on a magazine. So uh, it's very convenient because you don't pay that much. Okay, so we have five, five, uh, well, one, two, three, no, four. There are four advantages. So the question is, which one do you believe is the most important? Sorry, teacher, only a question. Go ahead. In the last description, thanks is using uh, like a synonym. Uh, which one? Thanks, so, you say this one? Uh -huh. Thanks to the ever spending internet. Thanks. Uh, I, was, I was watching thanks. We can use like a synonym. A synonym of which word? Um, in that case, maybe <laughs> thanks to the... Thanks to the ever expanding internet. Oh, no, 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 I understand. Uh, I, thanks to the ever, oh, no, no. Okay. I, I read, I, I read wrong, but okay. I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is like yeah. when you say thanks God, right? Yeah. Thanks mm -hmm. God. yeah, thanks to the internet, yes. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, so which one do you believe is the most important? Maybe the second is the one. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I believe yeah. also for me that is the most important because, mm -hmm. because it's immediate. I mean, immediately, yeah. yeah. When you are sending, when you are sending a marketing strategy and advertisement, what you want is to reach a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. And if, if the uh, advertisement reaches everybody immediately, I mean, that is fantastic, of course. <laughs> Yeah, because for example, if you are looking something and suddenly appears a, an app for something and you say, oh, that's good. And in my case, if I like it, I go to the app store and look at what it's about. <laughs> Immediately makes my reaction. Yeah, that is true. So uh, immediately you can go and check about anything and then decide if you are going to buy it or if you are going to buy it the next time that you need something like that. So it's a very good thing. Okay, which one will be the number two in your opinion? The next is allows to measure. Yeah, I guess also that is a very good one because you will be able to analyze data on how many people uh, were interested in the campaign. So you can check if this was successful or not. I mean- According to this, you can change many things in your website, in your app, it depends. Exactly, so you can optimize the mm -hmm. marketing strategy based in how many people are clicking into something, right? Yes. Very good, nice. What will be number three? What do you think? DPM is targeted. Okay, yeah, I believe that is also very good. It's also, targeted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also, DDM is cheap mm, compared to gesture. Now, for me, the number three is DDM is targeted. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe so also because, I mean, you will be able to analyze according to the number two, right? Analyze data 
and then uh, you will be able to target different campaigns to different, uh, let's say public or people, right? So you will be able to, to launch that, very good. So at the end, the last one is cheap compared to yesterday cost. Maybe it's a good thing, but I mean, you always have to pay, right? So at the end, you need to spend money on that. Good. So another conversation, it says deal marketing. Describe the fundamentals of two digital marketing strategies. And in the number one, it says, let's start. What are some examples of popular search engine? What do you think? Aha, uh -huh. anybody? That is actually very easy to. I believe, right? Google. Google, definitely. Google. Yeah, nowadays I think that is only, no, Google. In my, in my time, there was Alta Vista, I remember. Alta really, Vista, I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah, oh my God, many years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Google. Yeah, Google by now is the most powerful search engine. And uh, there are many others, like, like Ask, that is from Microsoft, and there are many others, but Google definitely. Ah, Mozilla was, Mozilla was a, a search engine, I remember. They have their own search engine, yeah. yeah. They have yeah. their I own. I was talking about the 90s. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, do you know, for example, what is the deep web? Oh my God. I remember the deep web. Oh my God. I don't, I don't know how can explain in English, but. <laughs> okay, the thing is that whenever you use Google for searching anything, it's because there is an index. They index their websites, so they include them into Google, or you request them to, to be included. But there are so many websites that are not included into the mm -hmm. search engines because they are kind of weird or not popular. Mm -hmm. And those are part of the, the, the deep web. So it's interesting that part. What is a good way to attract possible customers to the website of your product or service? What do you think, my friends? In, in hard, the offer and free the shipping. Very good. Offers and shippings are always a good idea. Nice. Any other? Any other idea on this one? Second product for purchase. Yeah, products for purchasing, things like that. That would be good also. Okay, we're going to check into the conversation. It says Samuel and Isabel are going through some steps to improve their search engine optimization SEO strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with partners. So this is a short one. Uh, let's check the pronunciation. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's, a good, it's good that I asked you, isn't it? Questions about pronunciation. Troublesome. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Troublesome. Good. Any other? Engine or engine? Engine. 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 Okay, let's practice then. Osmin and Walter are the first ones. Okay. 
I, I am star Walter. Okay. Okay. The content manager was revised. Revised the list of keywords. See them. Okay. The list. The list of keywords. I drawn you did. You didn't. Do didn't you? Excuse me. Yeah. Didn't you? Huh? Okay. Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually put them in the site. We won't have problem later. The search engine automation will we? And yes, it will be a very and troublesome and letting for the specialists. It is good that <clears throat> I ask you and it is it. Isn't it? Insulin. Thank good. you. Good. Now, uh, Rose and Sandra Gladys. Okay, Sandra. Okay, start me. Okay. Yes, okay. The content manager revised the list of revise the list of keywords. They didn't hit the list of keywords. I thought you did you did it, didn't you? Actually, I think I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Good. Now, Ada Patricia and Carla Vasquez. Okay. You start, the Carla. Okay. The comments manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords, you did, you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the sites. We won't have problem later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that asked you, isn't it? Very good. Now, Ophelia and... Guadalupe. Okay, I start. Yes. Okay, the content manager revised the list of the keyboard. Didn't he? I did us, I can board. I told I do this. Is I did not, I do. Actually, I didn't, I will tell him to revise the keyword before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problem later with search engine optimize, optimization, will we? Yes, I, yes, it's, I will be ready uh, to bear some memory later for, I did especially, it is a good, I just is asking you, is no, it. Okay, good. Now, Adrian and Sandra Romero. Me, teacher? Yes, please. Oh, Miss, the content Sandra. manager. Yeah, sorry, I just want to check if Sandra is here. Are you here with us, Sandra Romero? Yes, teacher, I'm here, I'm sorry. Good, perfect. Okay, go ahead, Adrian. Okay, the content manager released the list of key keywords. Did you see? 
revised. The list of keywords I thought you did, you did it, didn't you? Ah! Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to re re revise, revise the key revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with shares engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome. Troublesome. Letter for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Very good. Now, Jasmine and Wendy. I will start. The context manager reviews the list of the keywords, didn't he? Revised. Revised. The list of keywords, didn't he? Hello, Wendy. Okay, not possible. Nelson. We can't hear you, Nelson. No, right now we can't hear anything. Yeah, I guess it's not possible. Okay, so I just mean and Gloria. Okay. Um, Isabel. Yeah, please. Okay. The list of keyboards I saw you did, did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them. In the website, in the in the site, we won't have problems later with research engine optimization. Will we? Yes, it will be very trou troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Very good, perfect. Now let's see, Susana. And uh, Michelle. Okay. Um, Samuel. Okay. The contact manager re revised the list of keywords. Didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems from we won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Very good. Now Pamela and Anna sell me. I ready, teacher. Nelson. Ah, okay, perfect. So um let's see wait wait a little more. uh pamela are you here yes okay okay uh and anna sell me uh the content manager re re revised the list of keywords didn't he okay anna is not here. okay nelson could you please help with the second part okay the second yeah, the list of keywords. Okay, the list of keywords. I drove you did it, didn't you? Actually, you I didn't will tell him. Continue. Actually, I didn't, I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the seat site. Right. We wouldn't have problems later with search and your optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. 
is good that is asked you it is in? Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. Very good. Jose Ernesto, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher, I'm able. Okay, so Jose Ernesto and Zulma. Okay. okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I throw you the you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It would that that is it's good that I asked you, isn't isn't it? Isn't it? Very good, perfect. So, anybody's missing? I guess everybody did it right. Let's see what. Did. Wendy and Ada Patricia, please help. Yes, teacher. Okay, and Wendy, could you please start, Wendy? Okay, teacher. Uh, the content manager re reviews. Revised. Revised. Uh, the list of keywords didn't he? The list of keywords I saw you did. The I saw you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problem later with search engine optimi optimization. Will we? Will, yes, will it we? Will be. Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Very good, perfect, nice. So let's check some pronunciation words. Uh, revised, okay? Keywords. Right. I thought. Thought. Okay. Um, Remember the pronunciation of this one is didn't. So it didn't. Right. Didn't. Uh, revise again. Revise. Teacher, tro troublesome? Troublesome. Troublesome. Yeah. Okay. That is troublesome. And there is no other. About vocabulary, revise is like in Spanish, right? When you check, when you check that everything is working properly. Um, and let's see what else. What is a keyword? Does Isn't anybody know? Uh -huh. Remember a uh, meeting? A uh, meeting? What are specific information? Ah, okay. So yeah, there are words that are, the ones that are like the main words, right? In something, good. Let's see, uh, what else? I don't think there is other, okay. Uh, trouble. The hardware, the computation. I'm okay. Sorry. The keyword is the hardware, the computer. Computer. I uh, know that is the key. Yeah, it's like the. That is the key. Uh, the keyword, yeah, is something like that. It's, it's like a synonym, yeah. But in this case, it's like uh, that the the words that are the main words in an article or something like that. Okay. Good. Troublesome. What is troublesome? That causes a lot of problems. Yeah, for the issue. Good. Yeah, to, that issues that may be caused because of this. One. So problems. So it's better not to. Okay. So it says read the conversation again and complete the sentences below. 
This is very easy because it's the blank. Okay, so it's going to be the content manager revise the list of keywords. Uh huh. What is going to be the one that we are going to put in the blanks? Oh, didn't he? Didn't he? That is good. In the number two, it says, I thought you did it. Uh huh. Didn't you? Didn't you? Very good. In the number three, it says, We won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Uh huh. Will we? Will we? Will we? And the last one, it says, It's good that I asked you. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it's it? very easy, and that is the grammar that we're going to check isn't tomorrow. It? So, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Very good, my friends. Do you have any questions about this by now? No questions. Clear as our chatter. Okay. So, we have five minutes for a practice, just one or two practices of English. Let's see, who wants to practice today? Nobody wants to speak English. Hello. You have to choose the victims. <laughs> <laughs> the victim, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see then. I'm going to choose. Um, well, it's not going to be Susana because for you, Susana is the one on one today, okay? Okay. I, I don't know. But okay. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be then. I don't know. Anybody can be. Uh, Guadalupe. Hello, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You were eating, I'm sorry. Enjoy your food. How are you? <laughs> Fine, teacher. <laughs> and what are you eating, may I ask you? Um, mango. Oh my goodness, that is so <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, it's green mango or it's yellow mango? What is it? Yellow, yellow mango. Okay, nice. <laughs> and you, you are eating that plain or with salt and lemon or anything like that? Uh, with um, tahin. Be mine. <laughs> that is very good, eh? Nice. And is that your favorite fruit? Which one is your favorite fruit? Um, the different. Uh, the watermelon. <laughs> the mango. Yeah. Banana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's very good to live in El Salvador, right? You might mm -hmm. to live in to live in Germany and not being able to eat mangoes. Mm -hmm. No pupusas, no mangoes. You live there in, in Germany, but there is no pupusa, no mangoes, no chilate, no chuco. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Sometimes we are very happy here. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Arupa. Enjoy your mango. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Gloria. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Sorry, um, I don't know. I can also say the 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 Sorry. Um, I don't know. Camera. No. You don't have the camera. Uh -huh, I don't Why? Know. We want to see you. I I I sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever the class finishes, you're like, okay, goodbye. Goodbye, world. <laughs> and you say that you're sweating. Is it hot there? 
um, um, uh, very, uh, very much uh, has. Imagine. Heat is not that, it's not hot. It's kind of cold actually, because it's been raining, but a little bit, not that much. It's been raining there uh, where you live? Uh, yes, at the um, 11, 11 p.m. Really? At 11, 11 yes. a.m. or p.m.? P.m., p.m. <laughs> so it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, así dice él. <laughs> el Google. <laughs> so, yeah, Google is like Moisés Urbina. Don't yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's accurate. Sometimes when I go out with a motorbike, I check that one. And, and if it says that it's going to rain, I, I prefer not to go out. Okay. Uh, anyways, thank you, Gloria. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Very good, my friends. Okay, so we'll be finishing the class for today. Do you have any questions for the class of today? No question, Tick. No question. Clear as or chat as always. Good. So, my friends, we're going to check the attendance for the ones that still miss section one and section two activities. Please remember to finish. Also, some people they miss part of the midterm test. So please try to finish that one. Remember that we have two more weeks to go. This, the other one, and then the next Monday we finish. So remember that for that day, everything has to be finished, right? So it's very important. Okay, I'm gonna check the attendance. All right. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Telmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very nice week. I mean, night. And then I'll see you tomorrow. And dream in English. Bye bye. Okay. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Hello, Susan, how are you? I'm good, I'm tired. <laughs>
<laughs> me too, you know. I'm very okay. tired. Uh, yeah, I, I've been working a lot and I'm sick and I'm, anyways, that's why we're here, right? The good thing yeah. is that we finished, right? Yes, yes, it's true. Okay, so we almost go to to rest. Uh, so tell me, uh, I'm sorry, you were going to say something? No, 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 no. Okay. So how do you feel that you are moving on with this module? How do you feel that you are learning English? I like, I like the topics because I, I, I work with that. I really like it. I am learning a lot. Um, I have a problem with reported speech because I think I need more practice is I understand all examples. I think is is the practice, is the practice, and Thanks. I have difficult for I difficult for talking with other people. Okay. I think I don't have I think I don't have confianza. Trust. Confianza. You're not confident. Yes, for for talking other persons. Okay, so these two weeks, uh, you know, I have like a procedure on this one, but this week and the next week, we're going to try to speak a little bit more. We're going to check into that one. That's why we're moving on with the book a little bit faster so we can practice and we are going to have some dynamics and some activities so we can practice the, the speaking because I know it's very important. When when see the videos, I, I understand. I understand, I, I catch that idea, but I can express very good. Okay. So we're going to do more activities like that for, for us to speak. We know this is very important. For the report speech, I know that the grammar is kind of complicated. Uh, yeah, but the only thing that we need to do is to practice, right? Okay. I make my vocabulary. I wrote the, the words I know and but when when I have a time, I I look, I look. What does it mean? Very good. That is a very good thing, uh, because in that way you are going to get more vocabulary. Uh, maybe one thing that you need to do is to include the vocabulary in a conversation. Whenever you have a chance, try to use that vocabulary in the conversation, so everything goes better, right? Yes. Yes. Um, in the platform. I don't, I don't have anything. Yes, I see that one today. I was checking it. Yes, today I am talking with um, Giselle. I think it's Giselle. Mm -hmm. And, and we, so I report um, Twitter and, and they told me I have a permission. I don't have any restriction for that. But I don't know. I can inside, I can use that. But you, do you see the exercises or you don't see anything? No, no, I can. No puedo entrar. That's very weird. Uh, when I, I start in, in, how do you say? On the initial session? Uh -huh, when you log in. Okay, ahí no paso. Ahí me quedo. That's strange. Okay. Ahí me quedo. Y le dijeron si le van a hablar mañana o... No, I, I prove the weekend because I have a, I have a the machine for make the, the exercise. Okay. Because okay. they say, we, well, we think is the, is the signal, maybe. Okay. That's because really I guess nothing I can see nothing okay entonces no no la deja pasar del login eso sería el problema exacto no cuando yo inicio sesión no paso de ahí ahí se queda okay ahí se queda uh -huh. y en qué en qué entonces, browser lo usa en qué lo usa en Chrome en Mozilla en Internet Explorer Chrome, Chrome. Chrome. Lo usamos en Chrome y verifique en el trabajo igual con recursos humanos, porque le dije a la chica ¿verdad? que si tenía algún llamado de parte de, o sea, de ustedes que no había hecho nada, era porque no podía. 
uh -huh. y que generalmente yo sí prefiero hacerlo en la máquina porque es más fácil cuando es de rellenar y toda la parte es, es mejor que estarlo haciendo en el teléfono. Entonces sí, ahí estoy con ese pendiente. Okay. Me dijeron igual, el fin de semana me voy a traer la máquina y voy a probar acá. Vaya, perfecto. No Pruebe. sé si está algún tipo de bloqueo o algo, ya la desinstalé. Me dieron dos link más, si no podía entrar en uno en otro, y es allá donde no lo puedo trabajar, o sea que sería este fin de semana Perfecto, entonces pruebe uh -huh. y si no le funciona, me avisa para volverla a reportar, oh, y usted también reporte, la verdad, en el momento que no sí, curule sí, 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 reporté y, y bueno, ellos validaron y ellos para ellos sí estoy activa Sí, porque a mí me sale, ahí me sale que está ahí en, la, en el listado, tiene que haber algún otro problema alguna otra situación con el perfil, entonces y lo, lo, quizás lo complicado es de que se acerque el final del curso y va a estar Ajá, saturada de, de... Uh -huh. ahí, voy a, no, ahí, ahí voy a llamar a los compañeros para que me expliquen oh, no, ahí <risa> también, ahí en el grupo ahí han hecho algunas preguntas y ahí puede ver también las respuestas, yo las he mandado verdad. Sí. entonces, eh, sí, pero sí hay, hay que tratar de resolverlo antes sí, sí me preocupa que se me acumule todo y que no lo logre ¿verdad? sí, eso sí Ajá, pero sí, creí que hasta este fin de semana lo puedo, lo puedo ya trabajar. Perfecto, entonces me avisa porque solo falta una semana después de esta semana. Entonces, sí, ahí sí, sí. Que meterle. Okay. ok. Ok, Susan, it was a pleasure to be with you. Do you have Está any bien. other questions? No, only that. Perfect, it was a pleasure. Please have a good night, rest very well, and see you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.